This is probably one of my favorite species. No, it's not a Brontosaurus, although it looks like something taken out of Jurassic Park. It's just a video of Coatis walking in reverse. I'm your host, Romika Sanino, and I'm a conservation scientist, writer, and photographer. Every week we'll be introducing you to new animals caught on camera traps around the world. South American coatis are members of the raccoon family and are widely distributed in tropical and subtropical regions of South America. They can even be found in high altitudes up to 2,500 meters above sea level. Its scientific name, Nasua, comes from the Latin words of nose, referring to its long snout. The other characteristic that makes this animal unique is its long tail, which is black, brown, and has yellow rings. The tail is roughly the same length as the coatis combined head and body length, and is often held erect in the air. Coatis use their tails not only for balance, but to communicate with each other. This species is active during the day and spends most of its time foraging in the forest floor. They use their long snout to search for food inside crevices and under leaves. Although coatis are mostly terrestrial, they do sleep, mate, and give birth in trees. They are also able to walk straight down trees head first, because their ankles can turn 180 degrees. Males are largely solitary, while females and juveniles live in troops of about 15 to 30 individuals. Coatis are omnivorous. Their diet consists mainly of fruit and insects, although they occasionally eat small birds, reptiles and mammals. Their predators include cats such as jaguars, pumas, ocelots and jaguarundis, together with boas and large birds of prey. Coatis emit different sounds, for example, while foraging they use a soft whining sound that helps keep their group together. However, when danger is detected, they would woof and click to alert other members. Next week, we'll be meeting the largest of the small species of cats. Tell us in the comments if you know what animal it is. See you next week.